Hey guys, welcome back to another cleaning video. My name's Katie Satilli. If you've never been here before, I post videos every Monday and Wednesday. They are all on cleaning or mom vlogs. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the red subscribe button with the bell notifications turned on. This is the longest intro that I have ever done because I filmed for such a long time this week, cleaning and cleaning multiple days, just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning my entire house. So if you need some cleaning motivation, make sure you stick around and watch this video all the way through. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. My handle is katie.satilli. I'll put it here on the screen. I'm always on my Insta stories every single day, spending time with you guys and chatting away. So don't forget to go follow me over there. Today's video is also a collab with my sweet friend Danielle from Roxy Danielle. Make sure that you head over and check out her channel and her video today. She's doing a whole house clean with me as well. I know you'll love her content. It's actually really similar to mine and I know that you guys would absolutely enjoy her videos. So Danielle is actually a newer YouTuber. So let's head over and subscribe to her channel and just make her day so that she feels super supported and excited for her YouTube journey. So to film a whole house clean with me, it's quite the ordeal for me, but let me tell you, it feels so good to get it all done. And I love just walking around my house and feeling like I've touched every room in the house and cleaned it. It just feels so good. It did take me, however, a few days to finish this whole house clean with me. If you don't know already, I have three young kids, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-and-a-half-year-old. In fact, my six-year-old keeps walking in while I'm filming this voiceover and I have to keep stopping and deleting it and starting over again. So as you can see, it can take a few tries before I can actually finish something around this house, but wouldn't have it any other way. I love my kiddos and I love that I get to be home with them and spend lots of time with them. I'd love to hear in the comments if you have any kids and how old they are. things that I love doing in my house is just wiping down all the surfaces. In fact, you'll notice a lot of surfaces are pretty bare in my house and that is for a reason. My one and a half year old likes to pull everything off the shelves that he can reach. So most of these things just don't have anything on it at this point. They used to have some decorations, but I've just given up on having them. <laughs> so I just take them all down and figure I'll put them up at some point.
currently sitting on this bed upstairs in my room all by myself in the quiet doing this voiceover and just loving this time that I get to spend on YouTube. I love any time I can do some editing or stuff like that. I just feel like it makes my heart happy. But I did want to say that getting my room clean is like the biggest blessing and gift to myself that I can give because I feel like um, it's so easy to just focus on all the other parts of the house because that's what other people see or that's the other people's rooms or other people I mean my kids rooms <laughs> um, but it's so nice when I spend some serious time just cleaning and even just making my bed I just feel like it's kind of like taking care of myself and um, like a small form of self-care, which I just love doing because I am important just like the rest of my family. And I think that it's good that we do little things like that for ourselves so that we can sit in our room and feel at peace and just look around and feel like everything's kind of put together and we're not leaving ourselves last. This is my Instagram mirror <laughs> that I take all my Instagram pictures in front of or um, film like my outfit of the day if I'm doing like a day in the life vlog. But it gets so dirty so easily. There's always fingerprints or like face marks all over like the middle section of it. So when I get a chance to get this thing wiped down, it just makes my heart happy. I feel so much better about if I post any pictures or anything like that and then I kind of save myself some time because let's be honest if I am going to take a picture and post it and put a preset on it and try to make it look nice I am going to clean the mirror beforehand so anyways that is my Instagram mirror and I think that it's one of the best investments that I've made. It was not that expensive I think I got it from Home Goods, and I love that thing and use it all the time. My favorite things to do is I talk about this ever since I started my channel three years ago but I love windexing that part of the sink the shiny part because I feel like it just what makes it us? like the finished product you know like it looks so super shiny and clean and sparkly and I just think that it adds like such a nice touch to it when you're done cleaning the full sink to just get the Windex and spray that little silver part down I think that it looks so nice
So today is a Sunday. I'm filming this voiceover for tomorrow's video and I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about my day. I have gone to church so far. I woke up pretty early in the morning so that I could get myself ready and curl my hair and put my makeup on and drink my coffee in peace so that before my kids would get up um, I would be all ready. So I did that and then I took two of my kids to church and one of them went with my husband. He is on staff at our church. And then when we got out of church, I went ahead and took my three kids through McDonald's drive through We don't do this every Sunday, but sometimes I do take them through there, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like it's fun to just treat them and um, my youngest, my one and a half year old does not get anything from McDonald's. He always falls asleep in the car on the way home. So he goes down for his nap and then he gets like a peanut butter sandwich when he wakes up from it. So that's what a typical Sunday looks like for us. And then Sean just came home from church slash work and he's watching the kids now so that I can film this voiceover and then in about 40 minutes he needs to leave to go to another church event so I have 40 minutes to finish up this voiceover and be done. This is a totally separate day and you'll see that I'm wearing a different outfit and I was just heading into my kids room to clean it up and it wasn't really bad but there were a lot of little like cluttered items and sippy cups and stuffed animals and stuff in their bed so I wanted to get that cleaned up before it just turned into something gross. So I was just tidying up their beds and putting all of the stuffed animals back in that little bin that I got. That bin is from Amazon, the one you can't see but there's a fox on the other side of it. And then I wanted to mention my kids alarm clock that we got from Amazon as well. I'll try to have a link for that in the description as well. But basically in the morning, my kids are not allowed to get out of bed until that little, you can see it to the right of the screen. When that little green thing lights up, then they're allowed to get out of bed. So that happens at 6.30 every morning. So basically that's how we keep them in their beds and quiet until it's time to get up. Cause sometimes they would get up way too early, like 5.45 or 6 a.m. or something like that. And that is just too early to be up and out of bed. So let me know in the comments if you do anything similar to this or if you have an alarm like that for your kids. Most, or my kids can't tell time yet. My oldest can, but my younger two can't. So they wouldn't know if the green light, I mean, they wouldn't know if there wasn't a green light on it, if that, if that makes sense. So as I was up cleaning my daughter's bed, I realized there was a whole row of sippy cups that were up there and I could not believe how many there were. I was disgusted with myself that I didn't even know that they were up there. They were kind of hidden in between the bed and the wall. So I just took those <laughs> downstairs and I was like, no wonder I can't find any girl sippy cups around this house. <laughs> they were all in Fiona's bed.
this is my second load of laundry for this video that I had done and I just had quite a bit to get through and our machine holds a lot of clothes in one load and so um, I had a lot of clothes to get done so when I do a load it's probably like the equivalent of a load and a half in like a smaller one and I knew that I was going to be needing to take an Instagram picture in front of my washing machine, which sounds so weird and ridiculous, but um, I had a sponsored video or I mean a sponsored post to do for Instagram and it was in front of this washer. So I knew I needed to wipe this thing down and kind of like declutter the area a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be working on right here. I don't always get to cleaning this. So it was pretty built up with like the dust and grime that comes out from that um, filter thing right there. So it needed a serious wipe down. So the spray that I'm using is from Grove Collaborative. I haven't put in an order with them for so many months, so I'm about to run out of all of my sprays from them, but it is the lime, sea salt lime, um, what is it called? Myers, Mrs. no, it's not Mrs. Myers. What is it? Method, oh my gosh. I seriously had like mom brain there for a minute. And when I said seriously, my Siri just turned on <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just like talking to you guys right now in this voiceover. So anyways, that is one of my favorite sprays. It smells so good if it was made into like a candle or even into like a body spray. I feel like that would be a really good idea. <laughs> it just smells so, so good. So let me know down in the comments what one of your worst clutter spots is in your house. This is one of mine, the bottom of my staircase. It collects all of our laundry, all of the kids pajamas. They get dressed downstairs. I know it's kind of weird. I've talked about this on my channel before about how they get dressed downstairs and then I take their um, pajamas upstairs and all that stuff. It's complicated and disastrous, but um, this is one of my biggest clutter spots in the house. So I was just um, organizing the clothes by what was dirty and then I folded the stuff that was clean and needed to be put away. So that was a whole ordeal. And then you can see that Bentley wanted to join me and start folding the blankets. He has recently learned how to fold blankets and he loves folding all of his blankets, folding his pajamas and all that stuff. I thought it was so cute. So I wanted to get him in the shot. But I don't know if you guys remember if you've been here this long, as long as I've been filming on my channel. Bentley was probably Hudson's age, which I don't know, was about like one and a half or two years old. And he used to be in all my cleaning videos and he would be in the background running around playing with stuff or like pulling frozen waffles out of the freezer and I didn't even notice. I don't know if anybody remembers that far back, but if you do, let me know down in the comments. So I was giving my ottoman a good pat down if you hadn't noticed, but there are like the button um, 
the button cinch marks, I don't know what you call them, but where there's buttons, there's so much crumbs that collect in those things from my kids and their snacks. So I wanted to try and get some of that out before I vacuum so that I could just vacuum it up off the floor. And in a minute you'll see here that I ended up vacuuming underneath this rug and it really needed it. I didn't think that it would, but it absolutely needed to be vacuumed underneath the rug. So let me know in the comments, when is the last time you have vacuumed underneath your rugs? Do you do it every time you clean or do you do it every once in a great moon like myself? Girlfriend, you got me smiling, what a reach day. Stars are brighter, I feel lighter in every way. Girlfriend, there's no one like you when it comes to loving. Life is richer, lips are sweeter, now listen. So I'm not sure if you all watched my most recent day in the life vlog, but I think on the thumbnail it says big changes coming and it is just a day in the life vlog of a mom. And in that video I talked about how my schedule is going to be changing for YouTube. So normally I do videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, but I decided to switch it up and start doing Mondays and Wednesdays because I had accidentally uploaded a video recently that was normally going to be up on a Sunday but I put it up on a Monday because I couldn't get it done for I think my husband was out of town or something like that and I got some good response and good feedback from you all about how you liked the upload going up on a Monday versus a Sunday. A lot of people said Sunday is a family day or I don't like watching YouTube on Sundays or things like that. So I really do try to listen to you guys and um, make things work for everyone. But so I decided to switch it up and start filming and editing a little bit later and getting up that video that's normally on Sundays, um, getting it up on Mondays instead. So that way it can be the first day of the week and if you need motivation for the week, it will be up on Mondays. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. Does that work for you? Do you like it? And all that stuff. No, there's bathroom gets completely trashed. It is used so much by everybody in our house. It is the main bathroom that we all get ready in and it just, it just gets seriously trashed. So my daughter comes home and she has wood chips in her shoes from school. So those get sprinkled all over the floor. They were all in the rugs that I shook out a little bit ago and wow, just the bottom of the floor needed to be cleaned so bad, it was disgusting. So funny because when I look back at these videos when I'm editing them, the house doesn't look as dirty as it does in person. In person, it looks like embarrassingly dirty. So <laughs> just a little heads up for you. Things might look a little bit cleaner in this video than they actually were in person.
as we all know, I love the Dollar Tree. I love a good bargain. I'm a frugal franny. I don't know if that's a word. I just made that up. But um, I got that glass and surface cleaner from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then the toilet bowl cleaner that's to the right of it, I got that from the Dollar Tree as well. It's just like a mini size. But I love keeping little like packets of cleaning products in each of the bathrooms that we have. We actually have three bathrooms. And it's kind of funny because our condo is pretty small, but we do have three bathrooms. So I like to have one toilet cleaner and like a glass cleaner in each bathroom. And so I love just getting those cheap things from the Dollar Tree. They totally work well and I love them. I'll stand by them. There's nothing like fancy, but I mean, this is like Lysol brand toilet cleaner that I'm using. So. Um, it is quality brand. So anyways, I like keeping that stuff in each bathroom so that I don't have to lug my cleaning supplies from bathroom to bathroom to bathroom, upstairs and downstairs and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know, that's just like a little hack that I like. I just wanted to say thank you for watching another cleaning video with me. I hope that you got lots of motivation and inspiration from today's video. And let me know down in the comments what you think about the day change for when I upload videos from Sunday to Mondays. And don't forget to go over and check out Danielle's video from Roxy Danielle. I'll have all of her information linked in my description box including her Instagram if you want to go over and follow her on Instagram. So thanks so much for watching another video with me today and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.